So I've got a brand new TV yet again, and this time, this one's a little different. It's from LG. It's called the LG M3, and it's the world's first, according to LG, true wireless television. You're going, why should I even care? Well, Thunder E here from Board at Work. Thank you for joining us on the channel. And if you enjoy videos like this, hit that subscribe button and notification icon to get more videos from the channel. So the M3 OLED is, as LG says, the first wireless TV, which means it's got a wireless connector box. Now, if you're thinking of what a connector box is, Samsung has something called the One Connect box. They have it on their higher end TVs, which allows you to have a separate box you can place somewhere else and run one single cable to your TV. So having everything, you know, all your gaming systems, your soundbar connected to that separate box. It allows for a much cleaner look, especially when you're mounting your TV. Well, LG said, you know what? That's still too many cables with that one cable. Now, Samsung has one. LG also has one, technically, with the uh, LG M3, and that's just the power cord. There are no HDMI ports at the back of the TV. There's nothing. There's only mounting ports, and also there is a section where you can actually put a stand, even though, honestly, this TV does not come with a stand. This is just a demo unit LG Sense. So if you're gonna order this TV, it does not come with a stand. Now, the M3 comes in three sizes. It comes in a 77, 83, and a 97. The 77 costs uh, 4,199, and it goes all the way up to 29,199 for the 97 inch. Now, that's the TV itself. Then we have the Zero Connect box, which is similar to the One Connect box, except it doesn't connect via a cable to the TV. It is a wireless signal broadcasted from the Zero Connect box to the television and this is done over 60 uh, hertz frequency it's not a six hertz frequency it's 60 which means there's nothing you have in your home that will interfere with that signal in terms of electronic devices now this box is quite interesting because it comes with three hdmi ports at the back uh, all of them hdmi 2.1 also supports 4k 120 so your gaming system as i have here with the playstation and the xbox series x will work with this and giving you at that rate you also have, of course, uh, ER ports, which is one of the HDMI's, the, the second one, as well as also optical and you know, a few other connectors. So that is how you connect you, all your stuff to it. So I have my, my consoles connected here and then also my apps on the TV. Now, here's the thing. You might think the apps are housed on the TV. No, the WebOS software, all the apps are still housed on and running off the Zero Connect box. So everything is running on that box meaning if anything happens, you just replace the box. If there's some kind of software issue or some of the HDMI ports doesn't work, that's just pretty much it. So how effective is it? Is it good enough that you have any issues? Have I noticed anything wrong? I would say there's only one time where I noticed where it did a quick glitch. Uh, Daniel's walking by and it kind of glitched. I don't know why, but he, we had walked by the TV a couple of times and none of that had happened. So that, that's something just to take note. Now, this is still a line of sight um, device, so which means it has to have a line of sight to the TV and you cannot put anything to block it. Now, if there's something blocking it, there's a prompt that will come up on the TV saying, hey, go ahead, check it out, make sure uh, nothing is blocking. Also, maybe it's just, a, 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 you can tune it with software. Now, there is a wheel on the very top of the Zero Connect box that allows you to adjust uh, where it's pointing and the many antennas in there. So it's not just one uh, to give you a better connection. So blue means it's, it's a bit weaker, green means it's solid. So you can move it around and see how that is. Now, how does this affect gaming? Since it supports 4K 120 and playing games on this. So I played a bunch of games. I played some Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3. That looked good. And again, this panel is really nice. This is a, the same panel you find on the G3 with the MAH uh, technology. So it's super bright, one of the brightest TVs on the market. And you've got those true blacks and the OLEDs as well. And it really shows in the game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So the dark scenes look much brighter. You can see them clearly, which is good. As well as also uh, with uh, games that are super bright, like you know Horizon West, which has a lot of color, a lot of vegetation, which again, the TV does balance out pretty well. Or even games that are more balanced in terms of the color palette, like Forza uh, Motorsports, that also looked really good on the TV. So whatever game you're playing on any of the consoles, you will see that. Plus, it does support Dolby Vision uh, and Dolby Vision Gaming on the TV, as you would expect with any LG high-end OLED. This does that as well. Now, when it comes to speakers, you've got um, 
uh, the AI Pro speakers, the virtual uh, virtual speakers are 9.1.2, or you can go, of course, to standard at 4.2. How well do they sound? Well, let's take a quick listen to some gaming and, of course, just some content off the TV. Now, if you join us for the very first time on the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button notification icon so you can watch more videos like this. So there's a brand new PlayStation 5 Slim. You can either get it with it. So honestly, the speakers are really loud. I took them up to about 50% and I immediately dropped it down to 19. So you really don't have to crack them up to get a lot of uh, full volume and experience on the TV itself. But it sounds really good and watching content also sounds good on there as well. Now, some of you might be thinking, what about a soundbar? If I'm gonna use a soundbar, I would have to connect the HDMI cable to it, and that would be a cable running across my living room. Well, LG has a remedy for you, which I got to see when I first took a quick look at this TV a few weeks ago. Uh, they do have a soundbar, they have a couple of soundbars within their top, top end soundbars that connect wirelessly to uh, the Zero Connect box to allow, of course, that nice seamless look. only LG's top end soundbars. This would not work with a Sonos or any other soundbar, which you would have to, of course, uh, basically uh, run a cable or find some wireless adapter if you want to. So that's a downside there. If you're losing soundbars, you have to stick with LG for their offering to give you the best look here and also the best sound. Now the image quality is great. As I mentioned, gaming, it looks really well. Uh, watching content, what are you watching on on something like Amazon Prime Video, you're watching up YouTube videos, you're watching some of those, you know, um, animal and, you know, uh, safari type cinematic videos where you see a lot of rich colors. Those come out really well on the TV. They look nice. And again, like I said, if you've seen an LG G3, you're looking at the very same panel. The biggest thing here is that box. Now, I do like what the box brings and I think a lot of people will like it. If you're looking for a clean aesthetic look, you want to mount the TV, you want to put it somewhere. The one downside is that, of course, if there are a lot of people within the area right in front of the box, they can impede on the signal. So you have to be very mindful where you place that box uh, if you want to actually have that kind of setup. But I love the technology and I think this is kind of a cool way moving forward, especially for people who are looking for just a cleaner aesthetic look. Price point is high, but again, it's not as bad as I thought it would be in comparison to the LG G3, which is a, uh, at, at 77 inches, it's about $1,500 less. So that's the price difference you're looking at here. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, any comments about the LG M3 uh, wireless um, TV, let me know. Do you think it's pretty cool? Uh, do you don't care? Is this something you might want to use in the future? Leave your thoughts down below. And also if you're a gamer, yes, it works well. There are no slowdowns. Uh, you have all the features you're looking for and it's pretty cool. So Thunder is saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.